Hey guys, Triple Eliminator here. Playing around with my uh, new E Sig mod here. But, anyways, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Uh, I'm doing this video here. I, should, I, I had a rocking toilet. This thing was rocking, and it had a big old gap in the front um, where they just. Uh, this is all dap. Um, they tried uh, just filling in this big, huge gap and that ain't gonna work um so what i did was uh i took out all the caulking i loosened up the toilet took out all the caulking and then um i got these shims here Th these are rubber shims some people use wood I, I really don't like wood because you know over time um they don't last uh, you end up using usually end up having to replace it so I, I use these rubber shims. Um, I found that they work pretty good. And you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or any plumbing supply. But uh, anyways, um, what I did was I loosened up the toilet, I took the caulking out, and I shimmed the back of the toilet back here. Um, and you can't even really see the shims. I mean, uh, it's not bad at all. But you can see, uh, I think you can see, right here, the, the floor is lower right here, and it goes up right here, so. Um, that's why there was a big, huge gap in the front, but since I've repaired it, uh, that's what it looks like now, and that's the way it's supposed to look. Uh, nice and clean, and um, toilet base touching the, around the cement there but um, what you do is you take those shims after you've got the toilet loosened and the caulking out um, you take the shims and you shim it in the back of the toilet uh, that way um, it'll push the toilet forward and have the bowl actually sit down flush uh, you, you might end up with a gap in the back but um, it's better to have the gap in the back where it's not as noticeable as it would be in the front. So anytime you can get away with shimming it in the back, that's the best place for it. So I stuck on this toilet, I had to use four shims on it. Um, and I shimmed up the back, tightened the toilet down, and the toilet doesn't rock anymore. It's smooth. Um, I mean, look at that. that that's insane. I mean, they just left a huge, I mean, it was huge. It, that thing wasn't, I, I just can't believe anybody would do that. But um, anyways, I just wanted to share this quick video with you guys in case you guys got a rocking toilet. Um, the way to fix that, with these shims. And like I said, you shim it in the back, even the sides if you need to, uh, and re-dap it. Um, and... I, that that will take care of the rocking of that toilet. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, anything, uh, give me a shout out, and I'll uh, try to answer them the best I can. Don't forget to hit that like button. And anybody that hasn't subscribed to me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.